Here in the U.S., reporters are muckraking reporters are fired, but in Russia today they are being assassinated. Elections here in the U.S. there were really outrageous comments about women and attacks on women's rights, and we learned that the Christian fundamentalists are very Republican Party. In Russia, the Orthodox Church, Orthodox Church, is working hand in glove with Putin's government. And that's why they are sitting in prison today. And that is why the gay pride marches in Moscow have been banned and viciously attacked by fascist thugs while the police stand by and watch. So we stand here today not just from abstract sympathy for our sisters and brothers in Russia who are facing repression. We stand in solidarity because their fight is our fight and their future is our future. We demand the release of the 19 activists whose names are on these signs here today at our protest. And we are here with a message for Putin. Hands off our sisters and brothers in the left front. Hands off socialists, anarchists, and anti-fascist organizers. Hands off Pussy Riot and all feminist and gay organizers. And finally, I will attempt a message for our sisters and brothers in Russia. Ruki Proch, od rasijski socialistov, anarchistov i drugih protikivko Putina. Thank you. We actually met some of the activists in, uh, that were fighting around opening up Glasnost and Perestroika. And uh, we went to the KGB headquarters. They were so thrilled to take an American uh, to go there and to protest the police state. And it was the first time they'd actually felt confident enough to do that because of the mass upsurge and the, and the support for political change in Russia in 88. I, I went as a FSP member and a Trotskyist with Russian translation of Trotsky's works to talk about the importance of the Russian Revolution and the importance of fighting back and his ideas about hopefully overthrowing the bureaucracy but not overthrowing the basic nature of the, of the state, the workers' gains that have been won through the revolution. And while I was there, many of the young people were actually having rallies and pickets and, and uh, had street theater that was expressing the down with the bureaucracy and was were looking towards organizing around national rights of nationalities within, within the whole Soviet bloc at that time. And there were mothers that were fighting against the Afghan war and veterans coming back from Afghanistan that were protesting for the first time against their own government's wars. There were people active in the unions, organizing independent unions. So I think what this movement, even though it didn't succeed in overthrowing the bureaucracy, and as Sue said, they took over with a vengeance, it's come back now, you know, 20 some years later, and that's the real exciting thing about this. In December of 11, there were tens of thousands, tens and tens and tens of thousands of people protesting in Moscow and in other cities around the former Soviet Union, and they were protesting against the, the, the regime, the bureaucracy, and there was a left component that helped organize that. And there were Trotskyists involved in it, and other socialists and anarchists and Occupy movement folks that were involved in that. So it was a really important re-energizing of the workers of the Soviet Union, and it really bodes well for continuing the revolution that started there in 1917. Yay! I really want to echo what Sue said about the importance of defending these activists that are part of that leadership of the left, of the left wing in the Soviet, former Soviet Union, and, and they're reaching out for international support. And the uh, comrades in San Francisco said they were on the streets uh, yesterday, and someone came out from the embassy there three times to try and threaten them with, the police will come if you don't leave. You know, They stayed there and said, no, we're not leaving. We have every right to stand up for the rights of workers in other countries yeah. that are fighting for the same thing we're fighting for here. Yay. And the police never showed up. So. Yay. 
so they are very excited about that. There's also a protest in Texas that I'd heard about that's happening, and then at least seven other places around the world that were initially being announced, so hopefully there'll be more than that. But the activists in Moscow really reached out for support internationally, which is really important. So, on with the struggle for workers' democracy. Thank you all for coming. Yay!